Dashlane and LastPass are two of the most popular password management apps on the market. In this video, we'll compare the two systems side by side, looking exclusively at their business plans. Keep watching to see how Dashlane and LastPass stack up, or get a list of free security software recommendations fast by using our product selection tool at technologyadvice.com. Click the link in the description below to get started. At their core, Dashlane and LastPass are both safe places for employees to store sensitive information, whether that's passwords to online accounts, credit cards, government-issued IDs, private notes, or contact records, these apps provide safe alternatives to spreadsheets, sticky notes, or notebooks. Both apps store information in what they call vaults, which are only accessible by entering a master password. Since Dashlane and LastPass generate and save strong, secure passwords, employees only need to remember their master passwords to access their vaults. If an employee forgets their master password, account admins have options for helping restore access to their account. Since these products have similar identity access management features, it's best to compare them on their security architectures and features for account admins. A good password manager starts with good security, and thankfully both Dashlane and LastPass use best-in-class security practices. Both systems use a zero-knowledge architecture and AES 256-bit encryption, widely considered to be the most secure encryption standard out there. Master passwords and biometrics are encrypted on users' devices, meaning not even Dashlane and LastPass store your master password on their servers. For Dashlane, logging into your account from a new device requires you enter your master password and your unique user device key. Depending on the plan you go with, users can enable additional security features. Dashlane offers two-factor authentication in addition to SAML-based single sign-on, biometric authentication, and hardware authentication. LastPass also offers two-factor and biometric authentication, and it integrates with multiple apps for single sign-on. While LastPass does not support hardware authentication like U2F YubiKeys, it does use contextual authentication policies like location or time to make sure the person who's trying to log in is actually who they claim to be. If you go with a LastPass plan that supports SSO, you might be able to use hardware authentication through a third-party SSO app, depending on the one you choose. For businesses choosing a password manager, the security features available to account admins are just as important as the ones available to users. Dashlane and LastPass both come with a security dashboard to provide a quick overview of your organization's password health. For Dashlane, you can see an overall password health score that takes into account how strong users' passwords are, whether or not they've been reused, and how many of their passwords have been found on the dark web. You can see a complete list of your active and pending users and organize active users into groups. Dashlane also provides admins with an activity log to see admin activity details, like inviting or revoking users, in addition to enforceable password policies and a feature for managing single sign-on settings. For LastPass, you get basic reporting like overall password health, active and invited users, and reused passwords. You can also manage users and organize them into groups. While LastPass does not check for compromised passwords on the dark web, users can opt for LastPass to scan the dark web for email addresses found in data breaches. Depending on which business plan you choose, you also get features for setting enforceable password policies, managing SSO settings, and reporting. Still not sure if Dashlane or LastPass are right for you? Get a free list of security software recommendations when you use our product selection tool at technologyadvice.com. Click the button on the left to get started. 